welcome back. How you doing, James? Here, Carolina Forge. Uh, let's get started with this press build. Not gonna hold you up too much. To start out with, go ahead and go through a list of what we're gonna use for material. Uh, this is just for the frame uh, that the press will be sitting on. I have two by two square tubing, uh, three sixteenths wall, plenty thick enough. I have two pieces of that cut three foot. I want this thing to come out to a three by three square. That way I have a place for a decking around the uh, press to put sheet metal so I can lay tooling and stuff and also a plate room behind it to mount the motor and uh, pump and tank and all that for the hydraulic fluid. So, got two pieces cut at 36 inches. Um, the cross members going between them are from the tongue of the press. I took that off there because we're not going to need that. Cut those up 32 inches each. That way they'll sit right in between these two and it'll come out to a three foot by three foot square. Now here I have same size tubing, uh, two by two square, three sixteenths wall. I have four of them cut at two foot. Find our center of this, 18. Uh, our anvil is seven inches wide. So we need to three and a half each direction of that is gonna be there. That is going to be the edge of our anvil, so to speak. So 18, one and a half, one and a half. Now, that needs to be the center of this on that line. Oh, yeah, there on. There that one. that. See, I took all the paint off the ends too. You don't want all that paint on there in your welds because it'll mess them up and want the same structure this time. Magnet helps keep everything square. Okay. Back. Switch the other end, pack it in place. Now we gotta add our legs. We got this welded all the way around. Add our legs to it. That same magnet is on there. Dust the shop, it happens. Uh, smart guy would put this in a Ziploc bag when it's brand new. That way you don't get all this dust all over it, all the shavings. I didn't do that, so now I'm stuck with it like this. It's near impossible to get them all off once they're on there. Just gotta grab it in chunks. But uh, yeah, if you get one of these 
it's, it's always smart. Put it in a Ziploc bag before you introduce it to your shop. It, it'll save you a lot of it. smooth that way they are uh, nice and flush with the top flip it over do it again Once I get the press on here, figure out how I'm going to do the motor and everything, 
that's when I'll deck this out. I plan on putting sheet metal down and some sports here when I deck it out. So uh, that part's not done, but I'm not going to do that until I get the press up there and get figured out what I need to do. So, yeah, it's coming along pretty quickly. Uh, I'm getting ready to take me a break, relax for a few. It's pretty hot. Uh, and then we're going to jump on taking the, press, the uh, log splitter apart. And I'm going to do that in another video, um, show you the operating mouse that I have requested. Um, it working at its normal speed right now with the gas motor. So I'm going to show you how fast the ram goes up and down. And then um, if I switch it over, that way once I, if I switch it, which I most likely will, if I switch it to electrical, then I'll be able to show you a comparison about to how fast it sped it up from the gas motor to an electric motor. So you can judge on what the mod is doing. So um, I'll do all that in the next video. Show you it coming apart, all the pieces that you're going to want to keep, all the pieces that don't really matter. And it won't be long. We should have some press. Stick with me, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. I really appreciate you all coming along on this one, man. Uh, I think it's going to pay off. We're going to have some press pretty soon. So make sure you check back pretty soon for the next video because it's not going to take long for this thing to finish. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the button down below. Subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends. I'm sure a lot of folks are going to want to build a press, and this is the best way that I've seen so far. Uh, I got the idea from Ken Pick on for So thank you, and we'll catch you on the next one.